Well, what inspires me to be a leader in the police? Well, um, I think you naturally progress through experience and you identify um, what good leaders look like and you want to kind of learn from them and develop and um, grow as, a, as an individual in the organisation. Characteristics of a great leader are someone who is visible. I think someone who supports people, inspires them, sets the standards. You've got to be someone who knows your team. Leadership is is not just a title. So you don't you, you don't become a leader by just being promoted. We'll talk about the police. You're not a leader because you're a sergeant or an inspector. You're a leader because of what you do. You can't drift along. You've got to grab the nettle and drive your team, inspire them, support them, and help them out. And actually, for me, it's about caring. If you don't know your team, you're not going to be able to support them. That makes sense. If you really get to know what your team looks like, what their personal life, you know, get to know them as as individuals, you can provide them with the tools to actually make the you know the best team it possibly can be. Here at HPL Course for the last year we've really concentrated on making our environment as safe as possible. Our biggest factors within the prison which is self-harm and violence We've had a real focus on driving down both of those key issues in order to make this environment as safe as can be. For me, I think being a good leader is about having the passion for what you do and having that belief and desire to change things for the better. And then you need to inspire your team to also believe in that and to really challenge the status quo. So especially when you work in institutions such as prisons, it can be very easy sometimes to do what you've always done. And I think being a leader is really about having a great team coming together and deciding that we want to be the best and nothing's going to stop us until we've achieved what we set out to achieve. I was nominated for this award. I was surprised initially, but really pleased as well because it's the validation that everybody in our team actually needs. So it is a team effort, everything's a team effort. You can only lead if you've got people there with you. And so it really does show that everything that we worked so hard on for the last year has meant something. And it's meant something for the prison, but this also shows externally as well how good the work that we do is. Well, a few things that motivate me. Um... Uh, to be in a leader in that place. The first one is serving, serving the community that I live. Um, actually, I was brought up in Liverpool, um, in fact, in Poodle, and where my main areas where I work, and so trying to make a, a change in the communities. How to motivate my staff, how to, how to build my staff, how to make them feel wanted, how to make them develop and make them integrate leaders themselves, give them, um, give them encouragement to use, um, to use their initiative and uh, discretion and common sense to drive things forward in their own way. Wrong do the same thing over and over again, use their own initiative to make things better in their area. So give them a bit of pride um, to go out there and build up pride in the communities. Uh, give 100% of what I, what I do, both in work and outside of work, um, but basically enjoy what I'm doing and have a laugh at the same time. Um, so be level-headed, use common sense, and let's get the job done. Uh, that's my wish to say that.